4050. Game with Kessler. <laughs> Hemman leads four games to three, third set, and by two sets to love. Well, when Wakeza plays a point like that, indeed a game like that, you think here is a very good player. I still don't feel he's doing himself justice, and he could still come back from here. Yes, he, he certainly could. It's, even though Hemman is two sets to love up, he only needs to, to get this third set, and uh, the pressure is back on. And he must be wondering, you know, what he's got to do. And he has to get more first serves, and he really does. And it, it's so essential on grass to get first serves in. And uh, he's just not doing it. But he, he's capable of, I think, of playing a lot better. But, but Tim is, is dominating, and, and he's not doing anything wrong. The, on, the only thing that I think Tim could possibly do that is better is to make more second chance shots and yeah, so he's hitting a return because of volleys and he's got a chance to pass and he's not making too many of those and if he's going to progress after this match further in the tournament then he's going to have to start taking some of those half chances it's a good performance so far by Hemman. Cool and poised, waiting to see his opponent commit one way or the other. Fifteen. Yes, he got it in. It's a good love from the Kayser, but he didn't do enough with this volley. Look at this, just put it straight back to Hemman. And he runs in, and that one clipped the outside edge of the line. Game Hemman. And Paul Wakeza now from Kenya serving to stay in the match. Three five. Fifteen. Left.
15. That was a really good return because the ball was quite high when he hit it. More difficult. Yeah, he took this one early on. The ball was rising, got on top of the ball, came over the top with his racket and was running in for any follow-up shot. Thirty fifty. Forty fifty. Very impressive low volley by Wakesa. Very difficult one right off his toes. Set of my two sets to long. Paul Wakesa there showing what he's capable of, and he played a beautiful low volley and uh, lovely poised points. And so we have the situation, Chris, where we had in the first set where Tim Henman serving for the set failed. Now it's a bit more serious, serving for the match. Yeah, it is, and serving for his first ever singles win at Wimbledon. It's uh, a big occasion for any, any player, let alone if you're British. And there'll be a good test of character this to see if he can. Uh, serve out first time for the match. Uh, we might get a little glimpse of uh, what Tim Henman is really made of. But he's uh, playing extremely well today. And he'll be happy to get through this one. It's uh, a match that a lot of people thought that he should win. Yes, I think that very fact makes it more difficult for him because uh, it's not one of those matches where you've got nothing to lose. He had everything to lose. Tired, especially from reaching the quarterfinals at Manchester, uh, Nottingham last week, please. rather. And, uh, it's important for him to keep sort of the winning streak going. And, uh, let's see if he can uh, serve out for the match. 5 4 Henman, two sets to love. Well, this is the mature professional way to uh, face a game of this importance. First serve in. If he comes back, first volley, good. Well played, Lucasa. Stinging shot, that was. 30-50. of his first Wimbledon win. Game set up No better way to finish. Well, that's a terrific start uh, to this campaign for young Tim Henman. And unless uh, a gentleman from Germany called Carsten Brasch creates a, a big upset on centre court a little later on, he's due to meet Pete Sampras in the second round of this Wimbledon. A test that will be for him. 
Now, one or two other British scores of matches going on at the moment. Mars McLagan uh, has just served for the third set. One set all. Um, he dropped that, but uh, so the uh, third set very tight indeed there. One set all against Furlan of Italy. Another British player out there, Danny Sapsford. He's got more problems, though, because he's two sets down and two love down to Nestor of Canada. And a match out on court 14. That's Brenda Schultz, now Mrs McCarthy, who's seeded 15 here. Uh, and she's got one or two problems against Radka Bobkova, young lady from the Czech Republic. Uh, she's dropped the first set on the tie break. Now, of course, we'll have more tennis here this afternoon on BBC Two. And we're... The return going very close to the sideline, giving Sampras the angle across court. And Rash trying like anything to get it, but just couldn't make ground. So, Carsten Brash testing the champion for the moment, at least. Now, the winner of that match will play Britain's Tim Henman, who had a good first round win, three straight sets against Paul Wakesa of uh, Kenya. Another British player um, was out on court for four sets against Renzo Furlan of Italy, who'd saved four match points um, and was trying to save a fifth here. And that was McFadden's victory uh, cross court pass. Uh, for a four-set win. He'd lost the first set, so that was another good British win on his uh, first day. Miles McCaggan going through 2-6, uh, 6 6 3 against Renzo Furlan of Italy. But uh, no luck for Danny Sapsford, the third uh, of the British players that we were watching earlier. Um, he was beaten in straight sets by Daniel Nestor of Canada. Now, let's see what Mr Brush can do.